the watermark project description and demonstration today i'm working on the invisible watermarking technique named as discrete wavelet transform so let us have a look this is only invisible watermarking in which discrete wavelet transform is generally used the watermarking is generally related to the secrecy you can transmit data from this from one place to another you can use this for the copywriting process and for the many of the benefits you can study more about this and advantages of the watermarking uh, by your books or by the internet so let's have a look firstly we have to select the image in which we want to put watermark I have selected this image for the original one next is to load the watermark I have these four images I'm going to select this Google as a watermark see there is a concept between this that we have to <coughs> resize both the images in a fixed format so that we can apply the discrete wavelet transform on this next is to apply the watermarking concept see this is the output image in which I have put this watermark is this different from the original one technically yes and by the visualization no let us see I have put this image for the extraction procedure also when I click on this extraction button it will extract a watermark not exactly as I have put but almost same with the tag name or your company